Hi, it's Mike again. I'm back with another Dewey Tech DM1005 manual rosin press video. Now, today will be a general overview of the two touchscreen displays present on the press. Now, these are modular, so you could swap these out if they get broken or damaged in any way. And they're easy to remove and replace. Now, both screens utilize the PID algorithm and uh, both are large and very convenient to use. All right, now let's get to looking at the touch screens. So, let's flip this on. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice when the touch screens come on is this little red symbol in the top left corner. Now, this is in fact indicating that your plates are heating. So make sure that's present to ensure that you actually get a good press. Now, right next to that is a number that's slowly upticking. That's your current temperature of the plates. Uh, and as you can see, it's rising slowly because it has to meet this blue number, the desired temperature. Both of these are, can be easily adjusted using these two keys. Um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, also, next to them is a small no, symbol there and it's the Fahrenheit symbol currently and now this is a, the temperature unit symbol so essentially you could switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius uh, for these touch screens and this allows you to press around the world and in any temperature unit you want so we're going to stick in Fahrenheit for now but uh, just know that's very much possible now the final thing on this top touch screen is the counter. Now the counter, as you see, displays five. Now what does that five stand for? It's the amount of presses. So right now it's five. We go clamp this down. Five, four, three, two, one. There's the timer. Up. It's now six. Now this is very good if you want to count the amount of presses. Let's say you're in a competition. You want to count the amount of things that you've pressed, the, uh, you know, just, just to make sure you have the same amount you came out with. Uh, so now let's actually get into setting this up. So you want to hit the set key and that brings you to P1 stage. So this allows you to set your desired temperature, which you could regulate with these two arrow keys. So I'm going to set 265. Now this is the timer set, so I'm going to drop it to 5 seconds, but you could also increase it with the same arrow key. Hit set again, now this is your temperature unit, uh, so I'm keeping that at Fahrenheit, but you can switch it to Celsius. Now P4 is uh, the offset for the temperature. And I recommend leaving this at zero. You don't really need to be modifying this for an average press. And then P5 is the temper is the timer offset. And this actually lets you have the timer go off a little bit before the pressing is done. So that way you know to come over and collect the press item. Hit set and that's it. So that was Mike and I'm done with another Dewey Tech DM1005 video.